All right, good afternoon. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining me on your Thursday afternoon. Yes, and it's so sunny and beautiful out, so thank you for being inside with me today. So again, my name is Courtney. I come from America. I come from near Chicago. And I have been in Japan for 11 months. So I leave back to America uh, at the end of July. So I'm only here for a little bit over one more month. Um, so I'm sorry I'm, I'm leaving, but um, I'm really, really excited to talk about this topic because volunteering is kind of my life, it is my biggest passion, and I've been thinking a lot about volunteering more since I've gotten to Japan because volunteering is very different from where I am from in America and Japan. So in America, I volunteer maybe six days a week. So I go to work, yeah, six days a week, sometimes seven days a week. Um, so I go to work, and then after work, I go and to a different organization and volunteer. So when I moved to Japan, I wanted to find somewhere I could volunteer, but I speak very, very little Japanese. So I knew that it was going to be difficult to find a volunteer opportunity where I would be speaking English or very little Japanese. So I asked my fellow teachers at school, I said, volunteering is very, very important to me. Um, I find myself very bored when I don't have something to do after school. Um, I'm new to Japan, I don't know a lot about my community. The best way to learn about a community is through volunteering. And all of the teachers said, we're sorry, we don't know what volunteering is. I said, well, that's not going to help. Um, so I tried to incorporate volunteer projects into the classroom with my students. So we would make Christmas cards for elderly people at retirement homes, and we made or we made um, Valentine's cards for children at an orphanage or a children's home, and that was nice. But it was just like one-time events. It was just every few months. So I dropped off the Valentine, or I dropped off the Christmas cards to the children's home, and the woman who runs the children's home spoke a little bit of English. So we drew a lot of pictures to communicate, and I said, I want to volunteer here. And she said, just one day, just today? I said, no, every week I want to come and volunteer with your children. And uh, so through drawing pictures and trying to get our translators out, she said, okay, come every Wednesday. We will expect you every Wednesday to come and spend time with the children. So now every Wednesday from 4.30 to 5.30, I play with uh, children at a children's home and we just run around and sometimes I try to teach them English and sometimes they try to teach me Japanese. Um, <laughs> which is going pretty, I know it is cute, I love them. I love them. It's my favorite part of the week. Uh, like, it's just, it's probably what is keeping me very happy here because I feel very isolated since I don't speak Japanese. I feel very alone, and so the volunteering is the one thing that's really getting me through my experience here. So I really look forward to Wednesdays. So I've been thinking a lot about how volunteerism is different in America and how volunteerism is in Japan, and it seems like volunteerism in Japan is very focused on relief efforts, like earthquake relief efforts and when emergencies happen but I don't know a lot of people who regularly volunteer. Like, the woman at the children's home told me I'm her only volunteer that she has ever had. She didn't even understand, like, why I wanted to come. She said, we can't pay you. I said, I don't want, to. I don't want, to. I don't want money. I just want to come volunteer. So I'm the very first volunteer they have, which is crazy to me because I'm, the, I'm a foreigner. So not only am I the first volunteer, but I'm a foreign volunteer. So, um, so anyway, I worked at a university for the last two years before I came to Japan, and I organized community service or volunteer projects for university students. So I coordinated about 1,400, 1,400 community service projects every semester at a university, and then I also volunteered myself. So volunteering is really, really important to me. And there are many types of volunteering. And so first, before we get into the main part of the conversation, 
I want you to look at this uh, this worksheet. If you could help me pass these out, that'd be fantastic. And please let me know if I'm speaking too quickly. Like, please just tell me just, to, to slow, slow down. Am I speaking too quickly? Oh, thank you. Very clear. It's okay. I'm happy to define anything if you don't understand. Okay. So volunteerism, so if you could turn it to the side that says, how do you define service? So volunteerism has many different words, many different ways of explaining volunteerism. So service, Service is one of the ways we describe volunteerism, community service, or just service. Civic engagement. So mostly civic engagement and community service and volunteerism. These are all kind of the same idea. Being active in your community. Finding ways to be active in your community. So I want you to take a look at this list. There are 16 different options. So I will go through these with you. So these are all different types of service. So number one, providing dinner once a week at a homeless shelter. So there aren't that many homeless shelters in Japan, but in America, we have many, many homeless shelters because we have many homeless people. In Tokyo, obviously, there are more homeless people than there are in Mito or Takahagi. But an option that we would consider service is providing dinner once a week at a homeless shelter. The second one, joining the armed for forces or the army or military. Talking with a friend, so just being a good friend. Sometimes people consider that to be community service, just having a good conversation with a friend. Chaining yourself to, a, to an old growth tree as loggers enter the forest. So that might be some difficult English. So there's a tree that's very old, and you are very sad that the loggers are going to come cut down the tree. So you chain yourself to the tree and you say, no, you can't cut it down. It's old and it should be here. Okay. The next one, leaving your car at home and biking to work every day. So instead of ruining the environment with your car, you decide to bike to work every day. That is going to be your good civic action. Giving $50 or 50 yen to the Red Cross. Choosing professional work that makes a difference in the world. So making sure that your job is is changing the world, is making a difference in the world. Writing a letter to a government official about an issue you care about. So maybe there's something happening in your city that you do not like, and you know that your city official can change it. So you write a letter to him or her and say, please, this issue is very important to me. Can you please try to work on it? Developing a micro-lending project for low-income teens to start small businesses. So, I don't know if you know what micro-lending projects are. Does everybody know what micro-lending projects are? It is where you give a small loan, a small loan of money to someone, and then they try to start a new company, and then they have to pay that money back. So, Developing a micro-lending project for teenagers who have little money to start small businesses. Serving on a committee at a religious institution. So if you maybe are part of your church group, if any of you, or if any of you attend a church. Giving blood. Tutoring an immigrant. So maybe you speak a different language and there's an immigrant who comes to your community and you tutor them in a language or a subject. Um, adopting an eight-year-old boy. So maybe you volunteer at the children's home and there is a boy there without parents and you decide to adopt him and become his parent. Organizing your friends to work for affordable housing. So maybe the housing in your community is very, very expensive and nobody can afford to live there. So you and your friends get together 
to try to make housing more affordable. Participating in a one-week meditation retreat. So this is very, this is all about you. It is very individual. So a meditation retreat for yourself. And then finally, voting. So I want you to go through this list of 16 things and list number one through number 16 of what in your head you define as community service, civic engagement, or volunteerism. So number one, what do you think is the closest in your head to what volunteering is? And then number 16, the, the furthest away, the last thing. So if you think that um, leaving your car at home and biking to work every day has nothing to do with volunteerism or community service, you put it as number 16. If you think joining the army is the number one thing to be a good citizen, good citizen and to volunteer, you put that as number one. Do you understand? Okay, so one through 16, if you could just take a few minutes to go through and list. Service is a very, very good idea. Service means, in this case, community service. Yes, community service or how to be a good citizen. To be a good citizen. Yes. Uh, number of us. Uh, what it mean? Turning yourself into a more growth tree as locals into the forest. Thank you. I knew that that was going to be a confusing one. So if there's a very big tree in a forest that's old, and loggers, do you know the word loggers? People who cut down trees and use them to make maybe tables or wall things. So you, I'm in love with this old tree. It is in my forest, and I'm very angry that the loggers are going to come in and cut down the tree to make paper or to make a table. So you chain, I don't, I don't see any chains here. Like a metal chain. You chain you and yourself yourself to this tree. And so, they say, cannot so they cannot cut the tree down. And you say, no, I am sitting here. You cannot cut this tree down. It is old. And it is a special tree for me. You cannot cut this tree down. Okay. Oh, yes. I, I don't know about the, uh, the uh, uh, volunteer. Uh, uh, the uh, uh, for the of the for the prevent the child from time and the uh, my neighbor's competition. Okay. Uh, uh, but uh, uh, we can see the another type of uh, 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 volunteer uh, that is uh, only just to, they have no organized organized uh, uh, so they, they don't work with an organization, uh, they're but just... Uh, we have the uh, organized uh, big uh, volunteer system. Okay. Uh, but uh, you know, uh, neighbor, uh, some people in the neighbor uh, want to uh, return to volunteer uh, every day. They can go with a child. So I think uh, that is a very mean volunteer. Okay. So, I uh, wonder if there's something similar to that on here. So, like volunteering with children? So, maybe, maybe tutoring an immigrant, because it could be like a child immigrant, or maybe adopting an eight year old boy. Yeah, I know there isn't a very close example to that on here. Every day, uh, some uh, grandma and father yeah. uh, go with the uh, kid uh, to school every day. Wow. Oh. Uh, uh, and uh, five, windy, and uh, the children uh, go to school. Good for them. Only just for five uh, people. Okay. So you have to run the ranking of the That's a Nito? Mm. So, uh, is that a Nico city? Oh, okay. Ah, that's, that makes me happy. I need to hear more examples like that, because I don't hear a lot of examples of volunteerism like that. Thank you. Okay. So maybe you need like a few more minutes to get through your list. And I'm happy to explain any of them if you don't understand. So, the most important thing is the most important thing is the community. 
役に立つものは1そして16までそう、ね、16まで自分の考えですねどうぞ。
certain categories. So if you look at the back, service falls into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different categories. So you can see which ones you put one through 16. So activism and advocacy. So chaining yourself to a tree and organizing your friends to work for affordable housing. This would be considered activism. Direct service would be, direct service is hands-on volunteerism. So tutoring an immigrant and providing dinner once a week at a homeless shelter is direct community service. And then there are lifestyle or personal gestures. So things that you do in your life every day that you think are good for the world and are um, acts of volunteerism. So talking with a friend who maybe needs help leaving your car at home and biking to work every day, giving blood and adopting an eight-year-old boy. Those are all things that you do in your daily life to show that you care about your community and the world. Charity or philanthropy, so giving money to a nonprofit or an organization like the Red Cross would be charity. Religion or spirituality, so serving on a committee at a religious institution and participating in a one-week meditation retreat. These are fall into spiritual or religious volunteerism. Citizenship, joining the armed forces, voting, and writing a letter to a government official about an issue you care about. So those are all types of service that show that you are a good citizen. Vocation or calling, which is just words for job, Profession. So choosing professional work, choosing a job that makes a difference in the world. And finally, social entrepreneurship, which is developing a micro-lending project for low-income teens to start a small business. So can you raise your hand if you put activism or advocacy, so chaining yourself to an old growth tree or organizing your friends to work for affordable housing, if you put that as number one, activism or advocacy? No? no? Okay. How about direct service? Providing dinner once a week at a homeless shelter or tutoring an immigrant? Tell me if you, you put that as one? One? Oh, okay. You put that as traditional volunteering? Perfect. I usually put that as number one too, so that's interesting. Okay, lifestyle personal gestures. Talking with a friend, giving blood, adopting an eight-year-old boy, or leaving your car at home and biking to work every day. Did any of you put those? Number one. Okay, oh. A pretty big list? Okay. How about charity or philanthropy? Giving $50 to the Red Cross. Did anybody put that as number one? Okay, okay, good. How about religion or spirituality? Serving on a committee at a church or a religious institution or participating in a meditation retreat. Did any of you put that as number one? Yeah. Most people don't, so that's not surprising. Okay. Citizenship, joining the armed forces, voting, or writing a letter to a government official about an issue you care about. Did anybody put that as number one? No? Interesting. Okay. Vocation or calling, choosing professional work that makes a difference in the world. Anyone put that as one? No? You put it as two? Okay, that's good. And finally, developing a micro-lending project for low-income teens to start small businesses. Did anyone put that as number one? Okay, okay, interesting. So I'm kind of curious, you don't all have to share, but if anyone wants to tell me what you put as number 16 and why, what you listed as number 16 and why you put it as number 16. Yes? I number changing yourself. 
himself to the old growth tree as loggers enter the forest. He's going to be too extreme okay. to be called as a volunteer. Okay. So he's the number, uh, number six, 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 for, for you. So too extreme. So you think there are levels of volunteerism that are maybe too extreme? Too extreme. Okay. All right. Interesting. Did anybody else put that? Maybe for the trees. <laughs> <laughs> the trees are like, this is a little too extreme. You don't have to do that. <laughs> Did anybody else put that as number 16, the tree? Hey, choosing professional work that makes a difference in the world. That's what you put as 16, really? Why? Why did you put it as number 16? Ah, yes, it's the most worst. <laughs> okay. See, I often think that that is, I usually put it as like two or three, like I list it really high, because you spend eight hours a day working at your job. So if every day you go to your job and you're doing something that maybe is not very good for the world or your, your community, it really doesn't matter how many hours you volunteer after work, if during work you are maybe stealing money from children or, you know, not saying that you steal money from children, but um, so I personally think professional work is very important because you spend so much of your life working. So, but some people think you're getting paid to do that. So is it really volunteering if you are getting paid? So, right? Yeah, for me it's two different things, yeah. like job and volunteering is yeah, but that's why we have the lifestyle and personal gestures, saying that sometimes it's just a part of your lifestyle um, and working is that. So, does anyone else want to share, maybe one more person, what you put as number 16 and why? So we have professional work and the training yourself to the tree. Are there any others that you listed? Yes. I don't understand. Joining the armed force, that means as a volunteer, uh, citizens uh, going to the armed force and have training, that means? So, um, well, as a professional soldier? So as a professional soldier, so they're saying being a good citizen is a person who actively goes and joins the military and says, yes, please, sign me up for the military. So many people put that as number 16. If you are against the military, if you don't like the armed forces, you definitely aren't going to put that as number one. But if I'm not in the armed forces, but if I was in the army, if I was in the military or the Navy or Marines, I would think that joining the armed forces would be very, very important because it's keeping your country safe from war and from attacks from other countries. So. Sometimes it's it's kind of, that's kind of a difficult one too. What did you put as number sixteen? Joining the force. Joining our forces. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. So I just wanted you to see this list because these are all very hands-on examples of volunteerism. So none of these examples use social media. They're all not in front of a computer screen. So providing dinner, talking with a friend, giving money, all of these are hands-on experiences. But volunteerism and service is changing now, where many people are using social media and their computers to volunteer. So here are just some examples of social media. I use social media too much. I'm on my, I'm on my iPad way too much. But I have no friends in Japan, so my iPad is now my friend. So, do you know which logo this is for? Facebook. Good. Facebook, Line. Instagram. Do you know this? Instagram. Instagram, good. This, I guess, is a computer, I mean, a gaming, gaming, I don't know. YouTube, do you know what this is? Twitter, good. And then these two are more of American social media, but this is for using blogs, it's called blogger, writing blogs, and then this is, it doesn't even matter, it's too complicated. <laughs> so, <laughs> so these are all different types of social media that people use now to engage with their communities. So 
in Japan, people love their cell phones. People love their cell phones. And you often discover people's love of their cell phones at the train station. Because if I don't have my iPad, if I'm just looking around, everybody is <laughs> every head.